Have you made dresses with a wrap bodice in knit fabric? I've made a ton, but what I haven't made was a wrap top, just a top, not a dress. And I've done that today. Crazy print coming up along with neck bands, arm bands, hem bands, all the bands. Hi sewing friends, my name is Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. And I will try to make this one short because I can see the storm brewing. It's gonna just start pouring at any second. Today I'm sharing with you the Serenity sweater. This is a pattern from Love Notions that I have never made before. And it is a feature Friday pattern for today. That means that it's only $5. And it's also being re-released today. This is an older pattern from 2018 but now it includes sizes up to 5X. Previously, it would just go up to 3X. So that's good. So you can get it today for much less, and I'm gonna show you what I've done with mine. I had looked at this pattern several times and sort of overlooked it, keeping inside the box, which is usually not what I do. I like to think out of the box, but for some reason, I couldn't get over the fact that it seems like this is designed for a really cozy layering piece. All the inspiration I was seeing was related to colder, cooler weather, which is not my case. And thinking outside the box, I think anything can work for any climate. You just need to change the fabric. And that's what I've done to mine, made a few tweaks to it to make it work for what I need. It still looks like the intended style. The Serenity sweater has a crossover front and the traditional way, the way the pattern was released, has an elastic at the bottom on the front. Um, it's not hugely gathered, but it creates like a little blousing effect on the front. The back is normal, just straight. And for the hem, you can have a cropped one or one that hits the full hip. At the back, you can choose to have that hem be straight or a little bit curved. And you have a ton of length options for the sleeves. Sleeveless has a different cut line on the pattern piece, narrower. And then you have short three quarters and long sleeves. Just a few days ago, a new add-on was released that is free and that involves a hem band. Now that interested me right away. I like the look of that. And on the YouTube channel that is from Love Notions, there is a video there that you can watch. And in that video, in the description box is the link to get the free add-on. So I'm not going to link the free add-on directly here on this video. You need to go to the Love Notions YouTube channel to get it. That's where I got mine and I have used the hem band for my version. You can use a large variety of knit fabrics here from light to medium weight. I have seen a lot of sweater knits, so you can be creative. Um, if I had a really nice sweater knit, I would have totally made it out of a sweater knit, but they just don't sell them here and they're just not for my context. The knit fabric that I can find everywhere is rayon spandex and of course I've chosen that again. It's not a shock to you because it seems to be the only knit I sew. Some of the tweaks I've made to this pattern are related to my fabric choice of course. As I mentioned now it goes up to 5x so the upper measurements will be a bust of 57 and a half and a hip of 59 and a half inches. This pattern doesn't have a full bust option it just has a standard bust but I don't really think you need to have a full bust piece because the design is crossed over there's quite a lot of space there and you will find positive V's in this garment although it is a neat pattern it's not meant to be fitted so you have anywhere from three to four inches of positive V's at the bust and the waist but then because it comes in at the hips you have a more fitted hip so that's the intended fit and I mentioned there was two lengths one is cropped sort of to hit at the waist, the other one hits the full hip. I'm sort of in between what I like. I like things to hit my mid hip. And because I was interested in this hem band, I knew that when I added the hem band to the long full hip version, it would end up being super long on me. I'm going to share with you some practical pattern adjustments and how I trued everything to match properly while I was shortening these main pattern pieces. These main pattern pieces, I decided to change the neckline a little bit. You'll see what I've done. I've had a lot of fun and I've ended up with a garment that I super love that totally fits my lifestyle and my needs. So let's go and see.
front pattern piece and I want mine to be two inches shorter than the original. I think with adding the hem band, it'll just make it too long and hit like right at the full hip. And I'd like this to hit my mid hip sort of thing. My mid hip circumference with my full hip is not that much different. From the bottom, about maybe three inches from the bottom, I've drawn a line and then another one and I'll just overlap them. And that's how I get rid of two inches. When I do that, I get this huge distortion. Look at that distortion. But I want to keep this original width. I can't just trim that away. It's gonna be narrower there. So I need to keep this original to fit the hem band. So what I've done is just put paper behind there. And from the edge there, I just drew a line. And I'm basically just adding a bit to the center front. It means that it'll cross over higher, which is not bad. It'll just have a little bit more coverage which is not a bad thing. So for any wrap style that you do, a wrap dress, a bodice or anything, if you try to lengthen and shorten, you will have distortions here, but you need to keep this in the original shape and size because or else the pattern won't make any sense. On the side, there's a little bit of distortion, but it's not much at all. And I'll just smooth this away like this. That's way easier. I've done the same thing to the back. I have my excess length overlapped in there, but on the side you also have a bit of distortion. And also I'm just gonna cut this away, smooth this out. Always keeping the bottom length, the original length. What I did to check the length was take my band piece, it's quite wide, fold it in half like the fabric is going to be. And then I placed it here overlapping the seam allowances. So I have three eighths there, three eighths there. And then I have like a completed length from the top at the nape of the neck so I can measure down and see what the finished length is going to be. And that's what I did before, finding it was too long for what I wanted. That's why I've shortened it and now I think I'm gonna have the length that I need. This fabric is super flimsy and it's the, the neckline is not gonna hold if I just fold it under as per the instructions. So I'm going to cut a little band piece for this neckline. So I've pinned at the shoulder seams there, 3 8 seam allowance. And now I'm going to measure from the center back all along there to the bottom, but not from the edge of the paper, a quarter of an inch in because that is what I'm going to use as seam allowance. So I'm going to cut a binding that is 85% of this length or 15% shorter and that's something that works with rayon spandex for me consistently. So I'm putting my measuring tape away from the edge there. So 30 inches is only half of the measurement because this is only half of the pattern. You know, you have the other, the other back piece and the other front. So I measured 30 times two is 60. That's what the whole neckline measures. And I'm going to multiply that 0.85, that's 85%. So I need to cut a band that is 51 inches long. This is my layout. I'm gonna get it in less than a meter. What you can see up to there is a meter, so just over a yard. And I've got both pieces there, different directions. You can see that's the top of the back and the top of the front is down there but it does fit, this is size extra large. And then the band, and then from this bottom bit there, or if I just place this better, I could get my binding pieces from there. So it's way less than a yard that I'm going to use for this pattern. There is a pattern piece for this armband, for the sleeveless armband. So I'm gonna use the same width here to make a band for the neckline so that it looks consistent, the same look on the sleeveless armhole and on the neckline. So I've just taken the same width, only made it longer. I've got the fabric on the fold over there and I needed my band to be 51 inches. That means from there to there is 25 and a half inches because it's on the fold. I'm not gonna have any seams on this binding, so that's good. And then right next to this long one, I've got the armband. I didn't cut them on the fold. I just put that and then put it again so I can have one piece and I can cut them both at the same time not on the fold. We measured the paper and that had measured 30 inches, remember? So I've measured the fabric and it is actually 30 inches up to the fold there. If you divide 30 by two, it's 15. So you look at where 15 is there on the tape measure and you mark that on this neckline and that will be the quarter. And I'll transfer my mark from here to the other side and I'll have my quarters. Divided the neckline into four and then I'll divide my band into four. My neckband is pretty long. I have folded it in half wrong sides together. 
On the insides, I had marked my quarters, divided all this length into four. Now I have pins, I have a pin there, I have a pin in the center and a pin over there. And those are the ones I'm going to match to the marks I made on my neckline. It's looking like a hot mess, but the shoulder seams are sewn. I've got the band pinned on the center back and on each of the quarters and at the bottoms. The band sections are shorter than the neckline, so I'll be stretching the band slightly to match the neckline while I'll serge this together. This is the front with the band on, and you're supposed to put both layers on top of each other from side to side, so the wrap goes all the way to the sides on both. After that, just grab your back, put it on top, and now sew the side seams. After the side seams are done, you can just go ahead and sew the band. I've sewn the side seams. This is the bottom there. The neckline is up here. I've divided all the hem into four and I have my band divided into four as well. The place that has the seam, I'm just going to leave it on the center back where it will be less seen, at least I won't see it. So I'll just grab all of this and slide it inside the band, match the pins in the centers and the sides and then just sew on the round with my serger and the sewing machine. Maybe you can see the faint yellow lines I traced with my tracing paper there. That is the sleeveless cut line and this is the regular armhole for sleeves. I didn't want to just go ahead and cut the sleeveless armhole straight away because I wanted to try it on my body. When all the neckline, everything's done. I've left this for the end so I can see. Now I like the narrower width here from the sleeveless cut but I want to keep the height here of the original armhole. So I'm going to keep that original armhole and from about here, sort of where the notch is for the sleeves, from there I'm going to just start smoothing in this line, making it narrow to meet the narrower cut line from the sleeveless armhole. So that's what my cut line is going to be, keeping it higher here on the bottom for more coverage but making it narrow there so it's not white on my shoulders. And I'll do that for the front and the back. I promise you, I got up this morning, I printed, assembled, cut, sewed, filmed, edit, everything, I've done it all today. And my garment is fresh out of the sewing machine. It was a very fast sew, very easy to sew. And I had a lot of fun doing it. I added extra band pieces, of course. And one of the first things that you do for this is sew the shoulder seams. I serge, I sew. <laughs> and on the back of the shoulder seams I always fuse a little strip of interfacing there to make these stable and not sag, not stretch out over time so that is an extra step I do with my knit garments I use a shallow zigzag for all my main seams you know to sew on all these bands, the side seams, everything you can see the settings that I use on the screen after sewing on this neckband stretching the neckband to match my neckline and I did that with the serger first because I feel I can do that easier there. I go over to the sewing machine and just sew that down with a quarter of an inch. All these bands are sewn in the same way. You measure the garment, divide it into four, measure your band, divide it into four and get them to fit. The band is always slightly smaller than the garment and I've done that the same with the hem band. I put it on the serger first, went stretching it to match, surged it and then went to the sewing machine shallow zigzag again but this time with 3 8 seam allowance I opted to use a smaller seam allowance on the neckline because it's just my personal preference it's less bulky I find and for the armbands there I don't divide into four I just divide into two just the underarm and then up the top it's not the shoulder seam usually it's usually towards the back so just make sure that you don't assume the shoulder is half of the armhole because sometimes it isn't usually it's not but then it's all sewn in the same way. I did not have to pull out the twin needle or do any of that business with this top, which made it easier. I didn't have to hand baste a thing. I used my pins. I had a blast. Here is my Serenity sweater, which is sleeveless. Sleeveless is an official view, so it's not that I'm cheating or anything, but my main goal was to have this be a top I can wear on its own and not be a layering piece so that I don't have to wear a shirt, you know, anything underneath, a cami. I, I just wanted to wear it as is with my undergarments underneath. So you saw that I adjusted all this and it did come up wider here slightly. And just the fact that I added a band that is the same width as the armbands, of course made this neckline go up higher on its own because it crosses higher, there's more width. I can actually put this on and it covers amazingly. The, the band brings it all in 
and I don't need a pin, I don't need a kami, I don't need anything. I can just put this on and it's really nice. I've never had a wrap top, just a wrap top. I've always had these wrap styles as bodices with skirts attached, you know? So this is a new style for me and I'm really glad I gave it a go and tried it. Initially I had doubts, you know, whenever you try a new style, you don't really know how it's gonna be until you try. So that's what happened to me with this one. Here we have the hemband at the bottom. My long neckband goes all the way to the side seam and the one that's inside there too. So they safely tucked it in the side seams and the band is catching everything on the bottom. I left the, <laughs> I left the seam of the band at the back it you will never see because the print is so busy so you can't really tell it's there yeah i'm super happy with it just let me flip it around so you can see the inside i always show you what it looks like inside i'm pretty sure this took less than an hour to sew and i was filming as well so that's the back there you can see the bands on the arm bands on at the bottom you've got the hem band hem bands take less time than doing an actual hem with a twin needle for sure and here you can see this tucked into the side seams there so i know this is not the traditional pattern that you will see when you get your pattern because i've used the free add-on in the pattern there is a link there that you click that takes you to a video that tammy made the owner of love notions and there she shows you how to do the traditional one that doesn't have the hem band that has an elastic here. If you want to try this, but you've never sewn knits or you're new to sewing and you need a little bit more assistance, there will be an awesome sew along on the Facebook group from the 9th to the 16th of November this month. So the traditional one will be shorter than the one that has the hem band, because look at all the extra length that this adds. That's why I removed some length there. I didn't film the original version. I filmed the add-on one and I added my own spin to it with the band here. So. I'm super happy. You're going to see it's a great piece that I can wear on its own. I don't need anything to layer it on top. But you can make this, you can make this and wear a turtleneck underneath. You can use the long sleeves. You can do a sweater knit and it can be your nice layering piece if you have the weather to match that. Here you can see my top with a basic pencil skirt so you don't get distracted. <laughs> this is how I would wear it anyway. And you can see the length of the band hits right there where I want it to be. If I hadn't have shortened all this body of the top, I would have it way down here, two inches lower, which would have been too long for what I want. I love this draping effect that this creates there, a little bit of blousing. It just like skims over your tummy and I really like it. You can see I've got absolutely nothing underneath, just my undergarments. I don't have a pin or anything and the neckband just brings it all in. The crossover is very good. I'm very happy I'm not showing anything. On the side, that's how it looks. You can see that draping effect that this creates there. And the band at the bottom just bringing it in there. That's how it looks at the back. So it is fitted at the hips and then you have all this space. And I really like the feel of something like this, really comfortable. It's starting to sprinkle so maybe the tree will protect me for a minute longer so I can show you. <laughs> I love this neckline, how it looks here on the front. It's so comfortable and I don't need to worry about it opening and showing my bra. I don't need a pin, I'm perfectly free. And the armbands bring all this in very well. I love the armband, super easy to sew. The same width of the armband, the same width of the neckband, so it looks consistent. I'm very happy with this change that I made so that I can wear this on its own and not like a layering piece. Look at this fabric up close, it's outrageous. That's why I only made a top with it and it's just like a small garment, I can cope. <laughs> you can see the armbands and neckline better there as well. The original design would have a lower crossover and that's why everyone wears it with something underneath because it is supposed to be a sweater, you know? So I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with mine. I will make this again in black for sure. I want to have a lot of black things. I sometimes look in my wardrobe and have absolutely nothing. 
I want a black thing in every single style basically so I think a black one would work a lot I really enjoyed it if you want to try a pattern like this and you've never made anything like it you might like it as much as I have because I didn't really think I was going to like it as much as I do <laughs> If you want to take advantage of this super low price of $5, you can get it today, only today. And if you want to support what I do on the channel, you can use my affiliate link that is listed below because I receive a little commission from there. So thank you so much if you do use it. I will see you again very soon. Happy sewing. Bye.